dear students i am professor v r shilwant electrical and electronics engineering department sdm college of engineering and technology dharwad karnataka in this video lecture i am going to discuss the need for earthing and the types of earthing to explain the need for earthing i have considered a supply system in which delta star transformer rated for 11 kv bar 440 volt with neutral of star grounded to this supply system a single phase load is connected whose body casing is not earthed in such a load if insulation fails the live part of the load may come in contact with the casing of the load and and operating personnel may come in contact with such load casing when operating personnel comes in contact with the casing of the load the load current divides into two paths one through the neutral and other through the body of operating personnel the current that flows through the body of operating personnel is called as leakage current and due to this leakage current operating personnel gets electric shock and this electric shock may lead to injuries and even death of operating personnel also to avoid such electric shocks injuries and loss of life the metallic casings of the electric loads are connected to the earth in order to reduce the potential of metallic casing to zero with the help of a conductor the procedure of connecting the metallic casing of electric load to the earth with the help of conductor to reduce its potential to zero is called earthing once the proper earthing is provided then even if insulation fails and uh, operating personnel comes in contact with the metallic casing of the load then the current through operating personnel's body reduces due to reduction in potential across his body thus the operating personnel gets protection against electric shocks that is why earthing is necessary there are many types of earthing but the two types of earthing are very much popular and they are pipe earthing and plate earthing now we will study these one by one first we will take pipe earthing in this method under the ground from a depth of 1.25 meter to 3.75 meter a cuboidal pit of 300 mm by 300 mm by 2.5 meter is dug in this pit a gi pipe of 38 mm in diameter and 2.5 meter in length is placed vertically around this pipe layers of salt and charcoal of height 150 mm are laid to the end of this gi pipe at the top 
another GI pipe of diameter 19 mm is coupled with the help of reducing socket. The free end of this latter pipe is connected to the earth wire and a funnel is fixed to pour water into the pipe. The water poured through this funnel reaches the layers of salt and charcoal and maintains it moist. From the ground level, a concrete walled pit of outer dimension 700 mm by 700 mm by 420 mm and inner dimension of 300 mm by 300 mm by 300 mm is constructed. The earth wire and the funnel to the 19 mm diameter GI pipe are connected inside this concrete pit. The holes are drilled on the GI pipe of 38 mm that is buried inside the layers of charcoal and salt. Through these holes only the water poured into the funnel reaches the charcoal and salt layers. All the connections that are made in this type of earthing are by means of the GI nuts and bolts in order to avoid rusting. The entire earthing system is covered by cast iron cover. The earthing wire runs up to the metallic casing of electrical load through a GI pipe. Now we will take plate earthing. In this method of earthing, a GI plate of dimension 600 mm by 600 mm by 8.30 mm or a copper plate of 600 mm by 600 mm by 3.18 mm is placed inside a pit at a depth of 1.485 meter from ground level. The dimension of the pit in which copper plate or GI plate is placed is 900 millimeter by 900 millimeter by 900 millimeter. The copper plate or GI plate is placed in this pit vertically and around this plate charcoal and salt layers are laid. If copper plate is used then copper nuts, lugs and washers are used to connect earthing wire to the copper plate. If GI plate is used then GI nuts, bolts, washers and lugs are used to connect earthing wire to the plate. A pipe of 19 mm diameter runs from the concrete pit made just below the ground level to the earthing pit. At the top of this pipe a funnel is fixed to pour water into the earthing pit. The outer dimensions of concrete pit are 700 mm by 700 mm by 450 mm. The inner dimensions of this concrete pit are 300 mm by 300 mm by 300 mm. To cover the entire earthing pit, a cast iron cover is used at the top of concrete pit.